Locals on Maui Island are struggling financially from tourists cancelling their trip to Hawaii. In the immediate aftermath of the fire that engulfed Lahaina about a fortnight ago, many locals were upset at the sight of tourists snorkelling and having fun. But attitudes are changing and many locals want to see visitors come back. Caleb Fotheringham has more. In an address to the world, Governor of Hawaii Josh Green made it clear tourists were welcome. The mystique and love here, the aloha, is here for you. And the reason I say that is because when you come, you will support our local economy and help speed the recovery of the people that are suffering right now. The thousands and thousands of family members that may have had loss who will still have to care for the others that remain. It comes as search teams continue to comb through rubble looking for human remains. At least 115 people have died and around 1,000 people are still missing. Officials are urging family members with relatives unaccounted for to offer DNA samples to help identify the victims. Griff Dimpsey, owner of Aloha Kayaks Maui, says locals asking for time to grieve was a valid request, and visitors returning to the island is a delicate topic. The community needs time to heal. Of course, businesses rely on visitors. That's the business model for the state. So, you know, it's kind of a touchy subject. I think there's such thing as conscious tourism where people visit here, but, you know, maybe give part of their time while they're here, volunteering. However, he and many others agree with Governor Green that tourists can return. Marcus Perry, the owner of Hualua Jeep Adventures, says it didn't seem right for tourists to come to the island and have fun, but attitudes have changed. He says people are now pleading for visitors. We are all still going through the shock and grieving process, but it does help to have people come to bring in the dollar so that we can, you know, still pay to feed our families and to uh, make a living here. The tourism industry generates about 80% of Maui's wealth, bringing in about 5.7 billion US dollars each year. Mr Perry says he's in the midst of trying to renegotiate bills because of the lack of customers. We've had dozens of cancellations totaling about $100,000. We have very few new bookings and yeah, it's a struggle right now to stay afloat. Mr Perry says as time has gone on, concern has extended to those suffering from the residual impacts of the fire as well as the immediate victims. Hawaiian native Kanani Higby says hours are being cut to the extent some full-time workers are down to one day a week. A lot of people tell me how much they're hurting. I can see it in the stores too because one of my jobs is that I'm a grocery store cashier. I can tell that there's hardly any customers and it's because they don't have the money to buy food because their hours are being cut at work. Ms Higby says the island community showed support for Lahaina by volunteering, but now they need to get back to work.